All right, so there's a good possibility that you had a few issues with time zones, or perhaps you saw something in terminal that looked a little bit like this. Runtime warning, it received native time when time zone support is active. So if we go into our settings and um, we look for use TZ, that being true, uh, that's why this is coming up. So we actually need to use a different form of date and time. Uh, so instead of using in our models, instead of using this right here, uh, we need to do something different. Now, the reason I showed you this in the first place is because this is a way to get the date and time now of your machine. Uh, there is a way to do it this way. And this is also Python specific where it's not necessarily Django specific. So that's something else to note there. Um, and also, if there is any other time zone issues that you might be see seeing, you might as well just do pip install PYTZ. Uh, this is a time zone package thing. So if we enter and do that, um, I already have it installed on my computer where you might not have it. So you might have seen some other errors coming up. That is possible. Uh, if you didn't see other errors, that's okay too. sudo pip install PYTZ will put it on your entire computer. So just keep that in mind. And the password, of course, would be uh, whatever password you use for your admin. Uh, sudo would only apply to Mac users or Linux users, not Windows users. Pip install PYTZ should work for Windows users. Um, and, and you can do it just in your virtual environment too. Um, so since that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and do pip freeze and take a look at the different things that I have here. So if PYTZ is in there, uh, that is something that we will make note of later when we actually go live. But um, that's a little note on Python time zone and making it a little bit different. So now in our query set here, what we're gonna do is instead of importing date and time, I'm gonna do from django.utils import time zone and now, instead of doing date and time dot date and time, we just do time zone dot now. Uh, it's gonna give us the same exact result and it's allowing us to be adjusted for the user. Because um, if you actually look in our settings, if we have this as false, that other date and time would actually work fine. But since we're using Django, we might as well use the Django time zone and also um, have it active as we did. And then and another thing to look at is the actual um, documentation for time zones. If you go to time zones uh, for it, you can see and read more about time zones and things that you might need to change based on your project um, and how it interprets the time zones and changes things and all that. Um, so that's something you can do as well. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is I want to make a view that's gonna handle dismissing this stuff. Um, and we're going to do it using a term called Ajax, which is asynchronous loading using uh, JavaScript. That might not make any sense right now. So let's uh, jump into the next video and talk about it there.